A terrible drought has taken hold of the Turkana district of northern Kenya. In the searing heat of this dry land, rivers have completely disappeared. And women and children are walking up to 30 kilometers to find water to drink. Children in countries around the world continue to suffer horribly in a crisis of severe malnutrition and disease. It's a situation brought on by drought and famine and it's made worse by climate change, record food prices, and terrible poverty. One million children will die at birth this year, another million within 30 days of birth. Frustrating, most will die from preventable or treatable causes, many of which are related to malnutrition. And half of all deaths among children under five occur in Sub-Saharan Africa. Hello, I'm Dave Toyson, and I want to begin by thanking you for your generous support. And I hope you'll join us again this year in our annual Fight for Five to assist young children who continue to suffer and die needless deaths. As I watch the news at night and see places like northern Kenya, I'm struck by the fact that the children captured momentarily on my screen are not just the news. They are real children, suffering in real circumstances that no child should have to experience. Each one is a child who's desperate for your help. Akumu lives in the Turkana district. Her name tells her story. Akumu means dry season and refers to the time of her birth three and a half years ago when the drought began. Akumu is one of seven children Despite her young age, she already bears real responsibility. When she wakes up in the morning, she walks to a neighboring hut to get a stick with burning embers to use to light her family's fire. Most mornings, the fire brings little comfort. There is no food to cook. Desperate to provide for her children, Akumu's mother leaves early in the morning to search for palm tree fruits. It's a long, dangerous walk. Neighboring tribes are raiding each other's herds, and the raiders have guns. On top of the danger in the distance, the palm tree fruits, if there are any, must be boiled for hours. And they have almost no nutritional value. But because of the famine, they are Locuriate's only way to deal with her children's hunger. With her mother gone, hungry Akumu cares for her little sister, who's only 18 months old. Alone in the intense heat of the day, Akumu comforts little Dotiakan. Neither one of them has eaten yet, and it is not certain that they will have anything at all in their stomachs today. Already malnourished, with each day, Akumu will get weaker and she will have trouble fighting off common childhood illnesses. This is another of Akumu's mother's great fears. The bad things are the new diseases that are there and the many current challenges. I do not know what the future will be like. Your support in the past has made a difference to so many. And I know you want to help change the lives of children like Akumu and Lotiakan. Last year, caring friends like you helped us assist more than 154,000 children in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Mauritania, Tanzania, Niger, and other countries. This year, you'll be helping us to take the fight for five to Kenya, Somalia, Malawi, and other countries around the world where you can help over 250,000 children. The need in these places is urgent, often desperate. As at now, there's a bit of hopelessness in the community, especially because they are not able to cope with life. And actually, if the drought continues, I'm seeing a situation where the hope hopelessness will persist. As Pius says, coping with life is very hard. Just look at Anna. 
whose four-year-old daughter, Apem, is severely malnourished and has tuberculosis. Apem is small for her age, her arms are thin, and her legs are so emaciated and weak she cannot stand on her own. Apem is taking medication for TB, but the drugs are very strong and cause severe nausea and general weakness unless they are taken with food. At most, a Pem gets one meal of maize flour a day. Her mother is trying hard. I knit palm, make brooms. I also cut tree branches, which I try to sell. If I sell tree branches, I buy maize flour to make dinner. I do not have the means to raise Apem. She has no father, and there is no food. I do not have the means to raise Apem. Without help, Apem will die. 